All right, today's going to be a little different because the full gym program comes out in two weeks, and I thought, why don't I give people a little preview and see if they actually want to hurt themselves this bad. So here's day one, and it's one hell of an arm day. If you're ready, let's get after it. We're starting off with arm day, and you guys know how I like to theme my week, so this one's going to be f***ed from the start because you'll see why. All right, we're starting off with rope extensions, and I want you to pick a weight you can roughly do about 30 reps with. Once you fail, you're not going to rest because we're going to turn this to a rest pause all the way to 100. So get about 30, fail, hold in the stretch position, take five deep breaths, keep going. Probably get about 20, same thing. Fail, do it again, probably get 10, then 8, then 6, and it's going to be a miserable ending. And I want you to focus on tucking those elbows into your stomach, keeping that form nice and tight, and don't worry about turning those wrists out. We'll hit that lateral head soon enough. But really just getting that tricep to fail, not your traps. So when it comes to training arms, we're definitely gonna be doing a lot of cables because to me, it's one of the most effective ways to train them. But we're also not gonna sit in front of the machine and hog it the whole time. And that's not because we're not assholes. We don't care about that. It's just there's a lot of other effective exercises with dumbbells and barbells, and that would get boring. So we're going to set up at a 45-degree angle, grabbing two dumbbells, and do an incline skull crusher. I want you to really focus on the actual movement of your wrist. So as you go back and stretch, force that dumbbell towards your shoulder. As you come up, you flex that wrist as you come up, but don't lock it all the way out. Keep that tension. And then once you fail, you're going to sit up, press those dumbbells together, and do a seated French press. And I want you to focus on the initial part of the contraction. So Full stretch, halfway up. And if you did that first exercise correctly, you shouldn't have to change weight. It should be the perfect amount to kick your ass on both of these. Oh look, we're back at the cables. All right, now we're gonna really attack that lateral head by doing a compound set with a cable French press Bring it all the way to the top, leaning slightly forward, and doing an overhead extension. And the two biggest notes on these is make sure you pronate that hand as you come up or turn that shoulder in, whatever physiological trigger you need to tell yourself not to screw these up. And second thing is we're doing a full range of motion. So full stretch all the way up. I might stop a little short of lockout, but I don't know until I start to do these. Whatever gives me the best connection. So same for you. If you lock it out and you feel better, do that. If you stop a little short and that gives you a better connection, do that. All right, we're going to finish off those triceps with a close grip bench. And we're going to put on a weight we can do about 20 reps with and slow it to a crawl. Five count negative, five count positive. And whether you have access to a regular Olympic bench or just an adjustable one like I do inside a rack, you still want to sit in it backwards because you're going to fail. That's the goal. So at that last rep, be able to just chuck that weight off of you and rack it will save your life. This arm day is rough. I bet you I'm gonna have one person quit on day one. Last course I had somebody buy it, watch all the videos, and then email me and say, uh, this isn't what I thought it was gonna be. What did you think? I was gonna tell you to twist your nipples a certain way and you're gonna start to grow? That's not how this works. You can try. So because we don't want your biceps to feel left out and the theme of the day is fucked from the start, we're gonna throw a straight bar in the cable machine and do the same exact thing. Shooting for 30 reps, don't let go, Five deep breaths and just rep it out. Good luck. So I tried to equip this place with stuff that everybody's gonna have at their local curves, so there really is no excuse. So for the next one, we're using the preacher curl bench, but we're gonna hop on the opposite side, shove those elbows against, grab a nice close grip, push that to failure. Then you're gonna hop around the opposite side, take a wider grip and go right into drag curls. All right, we got two more exercises to go, but if you don't feel like you got your money's worth in a molested kind of way, then you're doing it wrong. So grab your easy bar, we're gonna go with the overhand grip, 
close. We're doing reverse grip curls. Make sure you really flex that wrist on the way up. And then once you fail, flip it over, stay nice and close, rep it out regular curls. So just like we did for triceps, we're gonna end biceps with a five count negative, five count positive, disgusting exercise. And we're doing it on incline curls. So make sure you keep that shoulder back and out of it, the arm in a fixed position, and just try to slowly squeeze and pop that thing. One more quick note, we're doing this on a pretty extreme angle. So past that typical 45 degree angle with the bench. So put it back 30, 35 degrees, whatever your bench has, you'll know you're on the right track when it just feels awkward and uncomfortable, but your arm's way back behind your shoulder and you're not gonna be able to use much weight. Let me end this first day by saying, I'm glad you're here. And anybody who goes through this can see why this works because you gotta be a pretty sick individual. And I still don't know the logistics of this, but it would be nice after everybody's gone through it, get together as a community. I vote for the Spearmint Rhino in Vegas. My wife's so sweet, she'd make us little goodie bags. Here's your get after get growing t-shirt. Here's your lifting straps. Here's some Purell because you never know where their buttholes have been. So if that's the kind of pain you're into, I'll leave a link below where you can drop your email and I'll let you know right when the program comes out. If there's any cheap bastards watching this, don't worry, I got you covered. I'll throw an extra arm day in there and that way you feel like you got your money's worth. And if you need help with your diet, I'd watch this video next. Also another of my favorites, but most importantly, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and get after it, get growing. Talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.